An orange warning has been issued for Istria and Gorski Kotar as most of Croatia is battered by thunderstorms causing flooding in many areas. The Dobra River has burst its banks in Ogulin. The coastal resort of Trikvenica was flooded on Saturday while Podravina and Turopoli were drenched overnight with hailstones the size of table tennis balls raining in the Velika Gorica area not far from Zagreb where the Sava River has risen as many as four meters in the past two days. Apart from causing flooding, the inclement weather has resulted in many crops and vegetable patches being destroyed by hailstones. The material damage caused by the torrential rains in Zada last week will be known on Monday, with some estimates saying that the figure will stand at around 20 million kuna. And in other news, a second man, a 21-year-old, has been arrested following the terror attack on London on Friday when some 30 people were injured by an improvised explosive device going off in a tube carriage. The suspect was arrested in West London. The so-called Islamic State has claimed responsibility for the attack. The detectives working on investigating the attack arrested the first suspect, an 18-year-old, on Saturday morning. Police presence has been stepped up across London, which remains on critical terror threat alert. Speaking to Slovenia's Pop TV, the Slovene Prime Minister Miro Terra said that Slovenia will be ready to implement the arbitration court ruling in the border dispute between Slovenia and Croatia on the 29th of December. Terra also said that his government will not make any concessions to Croatia and will act decisively. The Slovene Prime Minister said that Slovenia expects of the EU to put pressure on Croatia if it continues to ignore the arbitration court ruling. Terra said that the dialogue between the two sides needs to focus on the implementation of the arbitration ruling. Croatia is refusing to implement the ruling as it sees the arbitration process as being tainted. And in arts and entertainment, the 52nd Vinkovci Autumn Folklore event closed today with the traditional parade. The event focusing on cultural heritage lasted for 10 days during which spectators were treated to scenes that can only be enjoyed during a top cultural event like Vinkovačka Jeseni. Attending the closing ceremony today was President Kolinda Grabar-Kitarović. Turning to sports, in the Davis Cup World Group playoffs that Croatia is playing against Colombia in Bogota, Croatia is currently in the lead against its opponent two matches to one. Marin Cilic and Nikola Mektic managed to defeat the Colombian doubles team Juan Sebastian Cabal and Alejandro Fala by a score of three sets to two. You can watch the nail-biting matches scheduled for today with Marin Cilic attempting to win against Santiago Giraldo, securing Croatia's spot within the best world teams. And it is now official, the Croatian basketball team has a new coach. Ivica Skelin has replaced Aleksandar Petric, who stepped down following the recent heavy defeat of the Croatian team against Russia in the quarterfinals of the EuroCup. And the weather. A somewhat drier afternoon, but there still may be some passing precipitation, particularly in the northern Adriatic and at high elevations and in the easternmost areas and in the south. The northern Adriatic will see light to moderate southwesterly and westerly winds turning to strong in the open. Southeasterly winds expected in the central and in the southern sections of the Adriatic turning to westerly and southwesterly winds later. Top temperatures between 16 and 21 degrees inland and up to 26 degrees on the coast. Monday, we'll see a gradual cloud build-up with rain in places and particularly in Gorski Kotar spreading to central Croatia and Lika towards the end of the day. Cloudy with rain as of Tuesday with possible heavy precipitation accompanied by northerly winds. Occasional rain expected in the northern Adriatic and mostly sunny in the central and southern sections of the coast on Monday. Tuesday will be rainy while most of the rain on Wednesday is expected in Dalmatia. Bora is forecast for the northern Adriatic on Tuesday and will spread to the rest of the coast by Wednesday.